This morning, we are putting a spotlight on a new show that is taking center stage at Playhouse on Park in West Hartford. It's called Indecent by Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Paula Vogel. Now, the play is described as a riveting backstage drama filled with music, groundbreaking theater, and stage magic. Joining us this morning, Joining us this morning are two of the actors, Alexander Zavronsky and Daniel Zimberg. Guys, thank you so much for being here on a Saturday morning. Thanks, yeah. Angela. And congratulations on the show opening. Opening night Ooh. was yesterday, right? Yeah. It was. Awesome. It was. So tell us about this. This is a play within a play, which is an interesting concept. Tell us about that. That's right. I mean, Paula Vogel uh, writes a really wonderful story about Sholem Ash's The God of Vengeance. Um, it's a play about love. It's a, a play about... Uh, you know how the morality of society within a family is really pushed to the brinks uh, because of this forbidden love between uh, a daughter and uh, I guess a, a prostitute um, that the father uh, has claim over uh, so it's really intense and it's a really beautiful story um, but uh, basically the play as well um, that we are doing in Decent also shows a, a deep morality and in, in questions how far we have actually come as a society. Um, as you uh, might be aware and some of the viewers might be aware that uh, about a hundred years ago mm -hmm. um, the actors of Sholem Asher's The God of Vengeance had opening night on Broadway and on that same day uh, they were all arrested for indecency and obscenity. Yeah, um, super interesting premise, seeing a play about a play. Mm -hmm. um, and you talk about the themes of this play. I mean, we have immigration, anti-Semitism, homophobia, but there's also a lot of joy and light in this play as well. Talk about those themes and what you want audiences yeah. to take away from this show in 2023. One of the most beautiful things about the piece is that it is framed, as you said, like in joy and light. Um, some of the, one of the characters that Dan plays, Lemel, the stage manager of this play that tracks the play through its inception in 1907 through the 1950s. So the play spans many decades and we can track this one character's journey with that play through all those decades. But throughout all of it is this one character and the rest of the, ar the artists involved, they're focused on the joy of the piece and how much joy it actually brings them. So in a world of darkness and dealing with, as you said, like anti-Semitism and hate and bigotry and censorship, that there's always a push towards the light. You know, so it's, it's a play that is obviously set against the backdrop of World War II and the Holocaust and a lot of atrocities. But throughout all of it, it's about people trying to tell a story that brings us joy. And we talked about how that original play way back in the early 1900s was controversial. This play also gaining some controversy recently in Florida yeah. because a school board decided to cancel a student production. And in light of that, we had a bunch of free speech groups come out and, you know, condemn that decision. Mm -hmm. um, the school board says it was sexual content in the play that caused the decision. What's your response to that? Well, it's interesting that there actually is very little sexual content in the play. The most the two women do in the script is kiss. So I guess in Florida, that's a really big deal. Yeah, it, the irony is definitely not lost on us uh, yeah. that a hundred years after that this play is still uh, pushing the moral boundaries. My, you know, my biggest thing is that uh, people all like to assume and they like to play politics with things. But if you really come out and see the show, then the veil will in fact be lifted and you will see uh, the complexity and the beauty of uh, this group of actors that have been pushed to the margins. Um, and what their lives are like and, and how it relates to uh, many, many people, especially residents of Connecticut. And really quickly, we're running out of time, but I did want to ask about the programming that Playhouse is doing in connection with this play and the themes we talk about here. Tell us about some of that stuff if people want to get involved. Well, there, we have uh, talkbacks after uh, select performances. We have the Playhouse is doing some programming with um, b before some performances to talk about the play and different themes in it. We're participating in the No Hate campaign uh, with a couple other theaters in the area. And uh, it's a really great uh, connection to this piece because the No Hate campaign is all about like uh, pushing against a lot of uh, bigotry and and uh, hate, as it were, <laughs> and uh, this play is a great selection that really, uh, as as we said, like finds a lot of joy and, and and pushes that into the forefront and focuses on the love between people and not the hate that is directed at them.
Can't wait to see it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us in Thanks studio. So Performances today, right? What times? Uh, 2 and 7.30 today, another one tomorrow, and when the production runs to the end of February, you can get tickets at Playhouse on Park. There you go. Thanks for making time before you guys have to get on stage later this afternoon. Really Thanks. appreciate it. And Thanks just in case, <laughs> we got to go to the some, yeah. <laughs>